Welcome to today's video, everybody. Starting off at our favorite little restaurant here. It's an American-style diner in Yokohama. It's called Bubble Over. We're doing some uh, burgers and may go to tuna melt. And I always go for the AW. You guys know I love that stuff. Um, look, don't get me wrong. This isn't the best presentation for American food, but in Japan, this is it. There's nothing bad on this menu here. It's pretty epic. Yeah, so good. Yeah. We got a pretty cool day planned. We've got to sell some parts to Up Garage. May wants to keep looking at cars, so we're gonna probably go to Daikoku PA so she can walk around and try and get a feel for what kind of car she wants to get for her first car, which is pretty exciting. And just a bunch of like running around and day in the life stuff here in Japan. So I hope you're excited. Today we're here to uh, try to sell our junky um, parts that came off my FDS15. You guys remember the really old like headlights and stuff that were on them? Like these are still good for anyone who has like a missile or something like that who wants to clean them up. Well, that's really foggy. Yeah. So like they're still like worth something. So this it. Oh, you got those names. I love running into Japanese fans, it's super cool. Um, so yeah, we're getting rid of a bunch of stuff we have here. Um, the headlights from the old FDS-15. The tail me? lamps too. Now, I'm not expecting really to get like anything more than like 500 yen for things like this because like they're scratched up and chipped and stuff, but they still work. And like I said, a lot of people who have missiles just need stuff like this to get their car, you know, going okay and okay or pass right then um i'm selling some parts that don't belong to me um elbow did his brakes at my shop like two years ago i'm not even joking and he never picked up the, the rotors and the and stuff that he left behind so i have some rotors left over from his s2000 <laughs> um that i'm just gonna sell here yeah you know some s2000 rotors you have a lot yeah. Okay. Hopefully we make some money out of it. Hopefully some, yeah. Oh, and there's a whole box of like 350Z parts we just don't use and need anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of heavy parts in this 350Z box on the bottom. Like clutch, all the suspension, control arms, all the junk I don't need. Sorry. We dropped off everything to the guys. They said that there's about an hour to an hour and a half wait right now, just because there's so many people trying to sell stuff right now. So we're just looking around the shop and uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to remind you guys, if you haven't yet, all the new shirts have dropped on samit.net on the website. And you guys can get the new Resurrecting the Dead Abandoned S15 shirt and the new R32 um, Build the Dream shirt. But that's not all I'm doing. I wanted to do a little bit of an incentive and since we're at Up Garage, I went looking and we found a nice Nardi. This is a 355 mil Nardi and uh, comes with the horn ring and everything. It's in relatively really good condition for a Nardi Classic. Stitching looks good. A few little scuffs and stuff like that. It's still a $300 wheel, but I'm going to buy this and I'm going to throw it in with a random person's order who grabs one of the new shirts. So if you've already placed an order, that's okay. You're all still in the running to get it. But uh, anyone who also places now up until the end of this week, you have an opportunity to receive your order and there'll magically be a naughty wheel in there. So, there's that. So, best of luck everybody. We'll go check this out and uh, it'll be waiting for one of you lucky guys. They buzzed us over and the final amount that we got, if you guessed $140, well, it's actually probably less now, but we've got 14,000 yen here. So, this is probably actually equivalent of just $100 USD with how bad the exchange rate is now. But, still, that was all junk that I could. I just wanted to throw in the trash can. Mm. So the fact that we turned that into money is awesome. And now we could go to the casino and double this. No. <laughs> You're not no doing casinos that. in Japan. Uh, what's the the ball machines? Pachinko. Oh, the pachinko. These nuts. Um, I'm oh. just. <laughs> yeah. You made uh, sound so bad. I couldn't resist. All right, we're going to Daikoku now. We've been here for like two hours waiting for them. So I guess we got paid a hundred, well, like 
14,000 yen for two hours of our time. But anyways, we're gonna go to Daikoku now, check out some cool cars and buy some coffees with this cash, so win. What's here? Oh. <laughs> Did you hit the lens? I hit the lens. It's fine. It's here. There's another yellow car there. What's that one? FD. Oh. Okay. Should we car, buy yellow. all the yellow cars? May just wants every yellow car. It's oh, what about the 660? That's yellow too. See the 660 there? But it's got black on it. Okay. Has to be all yellow. All yellow. All right. Are you excited, May? Yeah. Where Where are we starting? Here or up there? There? Here. All right. Any kind of cars you're looking forward to looking at and checking out? Uh, FDs, uh, Swifts, BRZs, Z, okay. Z, yeah. Z. They're good contenders. Fair ladies. Fair ladies. All right. Yeah. Sylvia, Skyline. Okay. You can... So you're really not into a, a 660? This little one. Yeah. I think that's too mini for me. Too small for you? Yeah. No. What about this DC2 Integra? Is that a, a Honda? Yeah. Oh. It's on white nice. TEs too. It's nice. It's nice? Yeah. Is that all yeah. you got to say? You don't like the headlights? I mean, oh yeah. Okay. I've never really looked into it before. You never it looked into it? It looks like... What? I don't want to offend anyone, but... It's like the Sylvia Nini didn't. Yeah, it does, because like the S15 does have like one projector like that a bit. It does look a little bit like an S15 headlight, yeah. Yeah. I see the resemblance. Alright, what about this one? No. No? Bent Bentley's, right. You don't like Bentley's? No. Okay. The only Bentley I like is a little kid from the Korean show. Oh my god. What about the Supra? A80. I'm super worthy. Super worthy? You tell me, are you super worthy? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave that there. I feel not like, I don't know, it's just those, one of those cars where you just feel like you shouldn't touch yet because you don't know how to drive well or... Oh, for your first car, is that what you're saying? No. I mean... After you get some driving experience and stuff? Yeah. It's just still not got just too gut level to touch. Oh, we got these today. Hakoskas. What about one of these? Is this too god level for you? It is, but honestly, I would love to have one. You'd like to have one? Yeah, it looks so cool. You like the sound that these make too, yeah. right? The old L series engine. Yeah. yeah, damn, that's clean. Oh, and the, the black fender. Oh my god, looks so nice. The black over fender? Yeah, I like it. How much does these cost? Oh, they're like, I don't even think you can get a, a clapped out one for more than like Rock Pokemon, like 60 grand. They're so expensive now. Like a clean one's like 120, like 34 GTR money. Yeah. <laughs> this one's nice. It's not polished and clean like the other one, but this one looks authentic. I like it. Very nice. Well, what are all these things on top? <laughs> hmm? They're the they're spark the plug number. cables. Whoa. For like cylinder one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's, that's cool. the igniter that sends it and that's the it's got a dizzy distributor. I'm learning. There you go. Super learning. FD, really clean blue one. Here's a BRZ May. What do you think? Looks mean, man. It's an interesting arrow kit on this. I don't know what it is. I've never seen one where it comes to a point like that. From Nagoya? Yeah. The interior is really cool. All custom. Ooh, come over here. Another Hokoska, but I came over here because it's a fair lady. You'd rock one of these, you so would. Yeah, but I would keep it the original green color. Oh, the old one? Yes. Yeah, but this is also a special color. Because there was a limited edition, oh, I can't think of the name right now, but this orange was like a, a special edition of the Fair Lady. 
Guys, help me out. I can't remember the specific name. Yeah. This is a very unique Z color. Like Fair Lady. That's why the Proto Z, the new 400 Z, why they have this color. Well, they tried to make it, you know? Very nice, right? So nice. She has no words. I have no words. I want one now. Yeah, I told you you'd rock that. All right, this is a yellow car. May, this is yellow. What's this? It's a... Corvette. American V8. I don't know if I can rock V8s. Yeah. When we were at that uh, car yard, oh. we saw these cars before. Do you remember oh. what it was? The MR something spider. Yeah, the MR2 spider. <laughs> we just Good job. Good job. Remember you I said they kind of look like a Porsche. Porsche. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, they do look nice. What is this doing here? That's a Chevy. Oh, this is cool. That's an MR2. That's an MR2. This is a really cool Aero kit. Very nice, right? This Aero kit's next level. It kind of looks like Okachan's new one. Yeah, very wide, right? Wide thing on the side. And it's got Advent TC4 wheels. I see, okay, I'm learning. I can kind of. <laughs> it's not just about the car. No, that's right. You gotta think it with the shoes and then make sure your yeah. coordination is nice. Yeah, okay. it's like when you pick an outfit in the morning, you know, depending on the day and how you're feeling, you pick an outfit, right? Okay, yeah. Today you picked sandals, white pants, a black top, and a bucket hat for some reason. And today. Are you judging me? <laughs> no, oh, look. Look, it's, it matches your outfit. <laughs> oh, we gotta have that one. <laughs> what about BMWs, May? Specifically the E46, I think these are. You a BMW girl? No. Okay, moving I'm on then. I'm not judging them. I'm not judging them. It's just... I know you're gonna get excited about this because it's a Fair Lady Z. Yes, it's a Z. It's a 370Z. Not bad. Love the Nismo, uh, the Nismo livery. What about these BMWs, these M3s? This is an M2, this is an M3. I mean, it looks cool. I like this color. The color, yes. The color is really nice. Right? I agree. I agree. The Nardo gray with those black wheels looks sick too. So oh, and look, the fluoro, fluoro yellow brakes look nice at that. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah? It's like your, your chaser. chaser. Yeah, kind of. I wouldn't compare my missile chaser to that no, though. No, I'm not. Just the color coordination. What about the new SDIs, WRXs? They've got those nice color brakes too. Oh, this car scares me. Advent wheels. It scares you? Why? Because it's like bulky and it's bulky. short on the back. It's like, <laughs> I don't know if I can drive it. I'm not judging the car or any owners, okay? S2000. No, same thing. Same, okay. You don't like it? All right. S2000s are pretty high up though. No, they've come down a lot in oh. pricing recently. Yeah, they, they kind of plummeted. What about these? This. You really like the FDs. I do. It's funny, you've gone from like being an RX-8 like diehard fan to now you kind of like... I'm still on the RX. RX category, you've just moved to it an RX-7 FD. What about the FC? They're brothers. It's They're fine. brothers, okay. Yeah. Let's go look at one. I think I saw one up here before. So here we have an FD, an FD. I love that front bumper so much. Yeah, because it's got the lights like built into it. And now look at this, this is an FC. This isn't like the greatest version of an FC because it has like zero aero, but it's also a good version of an FC because it's in its stock form. I see. What do you think? I like both. Does it feel different? I don't know. I've only ever driven an FC before. I've never driven an FD. Oh no, I drove an FD in um, Nagoya with Dostum from Garage Defend, but oh. you know, I don't know. Like I've drifted an FC, but I've never drifted an FD. Looks nice. It's like this one's kind of like, you know, in the Nissan world, it's like the 180 kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's got that boxy kind of vibe yeah. to it. And then they went all out and curved it out. Curved it out. Yeah. yeah. 
Type R Civic. No. No? Okay. <laughs> All right. We keep landing on these. This is the new model though. May specifically wants the older model with the sharper headlights. Maybe the newer one. Okay, okay, now she's changing her mind. I love this. Yeah, look at that face. <laughs> if you don't know that face, guys, it's the uh, the face of I don't want to admit that you were right. <laughs> you do that face too. Oh, we all do. That's just part of life and relationships. All right, behind you. 350Z looks like a Zenki. So it'll have a DE, and uh, it's on black RPF ones and K wheels. I thought you were gonna walk up for it. Yeah, these are really nice too. I mean, honestly, I do want my own one. Okay, but you've got to pick one car for your first car. Then the Swift. The Swift? Still the Swift? All right. Still the Swift. Still sold on the Swift, guys. What about? Daihatsu Copen, the baby GTR. Oh, this one I'm kind of interested actually. Yeah? Yeah. Why do they have a Toyota GR Sport stickers on it? Interesting. I love how everyone like does these cars. They're a Daihatsu Copen, but like everyone makes them look like other cars that isn't a Daihatsu. Like yeah. they make it look like the Nissan GTR or this guy's put Toyota GR Sport like stickers all over it. <laughs> racing development, Toyota racing development. Like, he races. He oh, oh, definitely does. It's just interesting. Why are there like Toyota stickers everywhere? They're a small car, right? Yeah. We need a street chaser, mate. Street chaser for me. No, for me. <laughs> yeah, Look do. how nice that looks. Yeah. This Fair Lady Z is very nice for a 350Z. Oh, wow. Nice uh, two-piece rotors with a big brake upgrade. I like the wing. Bridge seats. This is a genuine body kit? Uh, no. Yeah. I believe this is aftermarket. It's like, whoop. Yeah. It looks good, right? Yeah, Ganador good. mirrors too. Yeah, this looks really nice. Do you know what kit this is? I'm not sure what kit this is. Guys in chat, if you know what kit this is, let us know. That's nice. Yeah, this impact that they use. Hmm. It's really it's, nice. Looks really good, yeah. yeah. I like that. You getting ideas? New Subaru with Rega Masters. I actually really dig that. That looks really nice. Yeah, the Rega Masters look fire on this, especially with the uh, the fluoro brake calipers. Yeah, see, I really like the new um, WRXs. Yeah, I think it looks clean. Yeah, but you've never worked on this car. No, I've never worked on one. I'd probably pay people to work on it too because I don't ever want to have to be stuck with the job of doing spark plugs on them. I know this that's... Is the one that's very... It's a flat engine, like yeah, an aeroplane yeah. engine. So the pistons and cond rods go sideways, sideways. like yeah. this. Yeah. This one, right? Yep. Before we head out, ice cream time. Ooh, yeah. Double I chocolate, baby. Pinot one. Pinots? Yeah. Little chocolate coated drops of ice cream with yeah. coconut and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. They always taste like there's coconut in them. Yeah, it's like a special type of vanilla. All right, May, so it seems like you've come up with a decision what you want your first car to be. Mm, Swift. Swift, and I guess it's got to be yellow? If possible. Yep, and manual? Has to be manual. Has to be manual, Has all right. to be manual. Well, good thing is, is the Swift Sports, I think, uh, six-speed. I don't know if all of them are six-speed, but the six the six-speed is definitely in the Sport what's, one. What's the merit of going to six-speed than five? Just an extra gear. Uh, there is definitely like better things about generally six speed means that like on the highway you can cruise at a lower like RPM But it depends on your final gear ratio. Anyways 
Well, we don't need to get into that. But, okay. so you want a manual, a yellow, Swift Sport, has to be the older generation one, but the pointier eyes, the pointier um. I like the headlights. pointier, well, yeah, okay. I do. But I, I, I mean, don't you can get the newer one, and we could put eyelids on it and make it look pointy, because the eyelids is like putting eyeliner on. <laughs> I like how you, you're <laughs> saying you're putting eyeliner on. Yeah, I kind of get it. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever pops up. Whatever pops up. All right. To be honest, the older the older revisions are are cheaper, a lot cheaper. Mm. But um, yeah. What? Were you trying to cheap out on a present for me? No, it's going to be your first car, so it's meant to be cheap because your first car gets beaten up. <laughs> You're going to make mistakes in that car. What kind of mistakes? You're going to hit stuff. <laughs> like you? You're probably going to run over my foot a few times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video of us just kind of chilling out, hanging out. I hope you found it interesting. Um, we have some really insane content planned, and, and literally next week we're back to Formula Drift stuff. We've been in this little bit of limbo land for a while, and um, all I have to say is, is if you think thought things were kind of like a bit slow and meh at the moment it's just because of what's coming around the corner and we had to kind of make all this filler so <laughs> just just consider this as the filler arc so you know you got the beach special you got the fan service you got the um uh vacation like school oh the school festival episode yep that's a that's a big filler episode okay yeah anyways that arc is coming to an end now and things are about to get insane. So thanks for watching, guys. Smash the like button, write a comment, and subscribe. We'll see you all in the next one. Leave your thoughts below on what May's first mods need to be when she gets her Swift. And um, I guess look out for a video soon of that. Hopefully um, we can find a way to surprise her without her knowing we've bought it somehow. That'll be cool. If I like buy it and film it all and like your reaction, it'll be very cool. Don't drift it before I even get it. You can't the drift, it's front. Okay, okay, no, I take that no, back. You... McDonald's trays. Ooh, that's a video. We could PVC drift your Swift. Thanks for watching, smash the like button, write a comment, subscribe, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, Jamata.